Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Celebrate National Astronomy Day, and if you do it right, you'll see several planets and the moon close up for free. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Saturday, April 24th is National Astronomy Day, which simply means that if you contact your nearest astronomy club, planetarium, or science center, you'll probably be told that they'll be hosting all kinds of free events, from safe sun gazing to astro speakers, special things for the kiddies, and of course, free viewing of several planets and the moon through telescopes at night. A wonderful way to get your kids and yourself started in the world's oldest hobby, stargazing. Let me elucidate. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Astronomy Day night, Saturday, April 24th, an hour after sunset, facing south, where the brightest thing you will see will be an 11-day-old moon. And although all such moons are very bright, and beautiful to the naked eye, you'll be astonished at how much detail you can see through even the smallest telescope, because the shadows created by the sun on the mountains and craters are absolutely breathtaking. So be sure you ask your hosts to let you peek at the moon on Astronomy Day night. What's even better, though, is what's parked right beside it, because it is almost everyone's favorite planet other than planet Earth the ringed wonder, Saturn. And if you look at it through a small telescope, you'll see that this particular time in Saturn's orbit, its rings appear to turn almost edge onto us. Plus, you may even see a tiny bright light near it, which is Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which our Cassini spacecraft recently visited and sent back spectacular pictures. And think of this, while our moon is 2,000 miles wide, Titan is almost one and a half times bigger, 3,200 miles wide, whereas Saturn is a whopping 75,000 miles wide. So, for Saturn and Titan to appear as small as they do from Earth, they must be much farther away. And such is the case indeed. On Astronomy Day night, the moon will be only 225,000 miles away, while Saturn and Titan will be a whopping 806 million miles away. Wow! Next, ask your host to show you Mars, which is on the other side of the moon. You won't see much detail because it is now so far away, and is in fact only twice as large as our moon, being 4,000 miles wide but you will see that it is a spherical ball, just like our Earth and Moon. And now, the best for the last. Simply look due west an hour after sunset and the most brilliant planet of them all. Earth-sized 8,000 mile wide Venus will be blazing away and huddled up right next to the exquisite tiny star cluster called the Seven Sisters, which you absolutely must see, not only with a naked eye, but also through a small telescope, but especially through binoculars. In fact, my favorite view would be through binoculars. But if you miss this on Astronomy Day night, fear not, because Venus and the Seven Sisters will be even closer 24 hours later on Sunday the 25th. So there you have it, a sky full of goodies to see on Astronomy Day night, preferably free through OPTs, other people's telescopes, Venus and the Seven Sisters, the red planet Mars, exquisite moon, and ring Saturn with its giant moon Titan. Keep looking up!